Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how can I add a foreign key on two models to reference each other using Entity Framework? In this scenario, our viewer is working on an ASP.NET MVC5 project with two models, rule and menu item. The challenge arises because menu item references rule and rule also references menu item, creating a circular relationship. This leads to validation errors when trying to pull data using the include method. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your questions, answering them, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you'll find that solution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. To address the issue of circular references in your models, we need to adjust the foreign key relationships. Let's start by reviewing your models, rule and menu item. In the rule model, you have a foreign key referencing menu item. In the menu item model, you have a foreign key referencing rule. This creates a circular reference. To fix this, we need to ensure that the foreign key properties are correctly defined. Next, we need to modify the foreign key attributes to specify the relationship correctly. In the menu item model, change the required rule ID to be a required property if it should always reference a rule. Now, let's implement the include method to retrieve menu items along with their associated rules. You can use the include method from Entity Framework to achieve this. Finally, if you still encounter validation errors, ensure that your database schema reflects these changes. You may need to update your database using migrations. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To create a foreign key relationship in Entity Framework, you can define two models that reference each other. The framework can automatically recognize a one to zero or one relationship. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To create a foreign key relationship between two models in Entity Framework, you need to define a public string ID in both the primary and foreign key tables. Use the key and foreign key attributes to establish the connection. For a complete example, you can refer to the provided article link, which details how to configure a one-to-one -one relationship in Code First. Here's an updated example of how the models might look. The rule class has a foreign key to menu item and module, while menu item has a reference back to rule. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.